So yeah, I got to be careful with this. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm not trying to get my channel just demolished. Um, but Kyrie Irving was suspended last night. Um, it's, it's five games. And this is how you know it's not that serious because it's a love tap suspension. It's not two weeks. It's not 40 games. It wasn't a major violation. I think this is a big part of uh, outrage. And I think nowadays people get the pressure from the media and the national pundits that they feel like they should be outraged. Um, Adam Silver's Jewish. Okay, and that's no surprise. Um, but this happened a week ago when Kyrie retweeted this pro-black documentary. And if it was so offensive to Adam Silver, why wasn't something said or done about it a week ago? It feels like Adam Silver was pressured into making a choice and a decision. Because I've been hearing sports shows and watching shows and listening to uh, you know local shows, and all of them are like, oh, he deserves a suspension. He should get suspended. They've been saying this for about a week now. So the the you know it's been a demand from a lot of people that he should be suspended for this. Then Adam Silver comes out and says uh, his apology wasn't enough. Kyrie actually apologized for something that he's not even a part of. He has nothing to do with this movie. He simply just liked it, felt like he wanted to share it. And he apologized to save face. And I don't feel like anybody should ever apologize for something you don't feel sorry for, because if that's the case, then it's not sincere. It's not genuine. And a lot of people did not accept his apology, Adam Silver in particular. Um, they felt like it wasn't genuine. It wasn't enough. He only was he only said he was sorry to those that was offended. Well, what else do you want him to say? Because not everyone was offended by it. And I think a lot of people really are being told that they should be offended by it. Now, keep in mind, he made an apology. You know who wasn't apologetic? Brett Favre. Brett Favre, not only did he stand on his shit that he was not guilty, still hasn't been charged. Maybe they'll say that's why he hasn't been getting a lot of coverage. Whatever. We know what the real reason is. Brett Favre has been unapologetic for what he did. There's proof out there, text messages, and he still is standing on his unapologetic self. But yet Kyrie apologized and it still wasn't good enough. And I don't see any of these guys you see in this picture here, Umar posted. I don't see any of these cats um, going at Brett Favre like they did Kyrie Irving. I think Stephen A. talked about it once. I know Shannon and Skip talked about Brett Favre once. They have not dragged him and made him a daily uh, subject matter. And I get it. Brett Favre's retired old man. You know, he's not in the everyday, but he is on a national radio show. He took he, he like a coward. He took uh, a, a leave of absence. So he is actually a part of the media, believe it or not. Um, he is relevant more than you think so. Now, Kyrie's an active player. I get that. But I don't feel the same energy. They they not giving Brett that same kind of gun smoke they're giving Kyrie. That's obvious. You know, so he's suspended. Um, and you now you got some people, they still... Uh, bothered by that oh it's only only five games oh how many games do you think he deserves like come on like be for real like i think people are really being told that they should be mad about stuff that they i don't think adam silver really was bothered by this originally because like i say look how long it took for him to react and respond you know now Shaq and, and charles barkley kind of on the national level set the tone about the suspension charles barkley said it first i think that he should be suspended. And then Shaq co-signed it. You know, uh, Kenny probably was, you know, Kenny's usually like uh, Team BLM. Team Kenny, you know, <laughs> Kenny ain't, ain't really, he don't usually agree with a lot of stuff that Shaq and um, uh, Charles Barkley agree with. Shaq and Kanye West actually got into it the other night. Uh, and Shaq told him to mind his business. You don't know me. You don't know me. You, you go back over there. You don't know me. But, um, Charles, you know, they would, he should be suspended, Ernie. That was very disrespectful what he said. The, the Brooklyn Nets, they got to get a hold of this kid before it all goes down. Because, you know, it, 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 it was like, come on, man. Y'all you know, are really going hard on this boy for, for what? You know, he had nothing to do with this doc. And like I say, it's, it's a pro-black documentary. I haven't watched it. Um, it's, it seems interesting. You know, I'm overdue for a couple of good docs, but I mean, yay. You know, so it is what it is. But uh, I don't see them going at Brett Favre like that. And like I say, they it's a shame because Brett Favre actually committed a crime. 
Kyrie Irving didn't commit a crime. He just reposted a link to a documentary that hurt some people's feelings. You know, Brett Favre committed a mass crime. Like what he did affected multiple thousands of families, poor black families in the blackest state in the country. It's like a time warp. You go to Mississippi and he's sitting there with his feet kicked up saying, you know, and just being unapologetic. But yet you you say you're not guilty, but yet you take a leave of absence from your radio show. Why? Because you know you are, and you know people probably going to be calling up, calling you out. Yo, what's good? He don't want to talk about it. But yet he's unapologetic. And meanwhile, they made Kyrie apologize, backwalk his comments, and they still, you know, like Adam Silver quoted, it wasn't enough. So what, what the hell is? So, yeah, Kyrie Irving has got five-game suspension. Um, I'm not sure if the Nets play tonight. Um, who knows what KD's probably thinking? <laughs> you know what I mean, KD probably like, oh my God, here we go again. And this is just November basketball. The season just started like two weeks ago. It just started. You know what I mean? And they got Emay coming down. Like that's gonna be a fun team to watch. But uh, let me know what y'all think about Kyrie Irving's suspension. Did the NBA overreact to this?